Hey everyone, I'm just about to leave and get on my way to go finish up getting my P.O. box, which is exciting for Modern Health Solutions. Um, but earlier this morning, I, uh, well after I was working out actually, I was watching David Goggins as I usually do, cue the GIF. And I was thinking, and he was kind of touching on or hinting at himself about the irony of success. Now we all have thing we all do things and we like doing some things and we don't like doing things. We want to do some things and we don't want to do some things. And the irony of success and the irony about being successful is that you have to be uncomfortable to get to where you want to be. But we think that once you get to being successful you know, everyone wants to be successful and have a lot of money because they think it can buy them, um, you know, more comfort, more luxuries. Um, have, you know, people think money can buy happiness and you can get peace of mind because you'll have the best health insurance and things like that. But to maintain that and to keep that lifestyle, to maintain comfort, you have to be uncomfortable. So it's kind of a paradox. It's a success paradox, I guess. The irony of success or the success paradox. Because you, to get to where you want to be, you have to do a ton of things you don't want to do. To get in the great shape and get a six pack and get chiseled, get buff, you have to um, spend hours sweating and having your heart racing and hurting from going to the gym and, or just working out at home. And it's just really interesting. I mean, you think about athletes and all the successful people who you think are super comfortable. The most successful people actually are the least comfortable people out there. Yeah, they might have a nicer bed or a nicer car that's literally physically more comfortable, but their day-to-day -day actions are less comfortable. You know, look at, again, first off, let's look at athletes. LeBron James, you think that dude's comfortable? <laughs> Not a chance. He's always hurting, always exercising, always recovering, always working out. And no one likes working out. I mean, you kind of get some joy from it, but it's painful and it sucks when you do it. And you probably got, he, he probably wakes up early. He probably spends hours practicing in the gym, practicing his game, his jump shot, whatever. That's, that's just not comfortable, man. And music artists, think about them. They're constantly going on tour. They're on the road. They're away from their families. They don't see people. They'll see the ones they love most. They probably miss some holidays and stuff. Like, they're on the road. They spend tons of hours in the studio, up late nights, and then waking up early the next morning to do other stuff or do other work. You know, sacrificing sleep, being tired all the time, uncomfortable. So that's the paradox or the irony of success that I kind of realized is you got to do things you, that, you got to do things that suck. And that's just part of life. Got my post office box all set up. I am officially in business, baby. Today I got my P.O. box all set up. Makes me feel a little bit more official at least. Uh, I chose a spot downtown because one, I love going downtown. I'd like an excuse to go downtown. Um, but two, I wanna use it as motivation. Motivation to um, move out of my mom's house and be able to move back downtown and move in with my girlfriend again and live with her and the dog of course um, but it's expensive and I need to have more income coming in obviously so that I can afford for things besides just rent uh, which is important you know I need to eat I guess and pay for the wi-fi because I work at home and I would use so much of it. <laughs> but it's it's good to find little things like that to motivate yourself. Plus, plus, what the hell's plus? There's no T at the end of plus. Plus, Easto 
is Besto. Westo sucks, it's going down. <laughs> but it goes back to the irony of success. The success paradox. The paradox of success. Whatever I'm gonna title this video, one of those three things. To get my income up to that level, I've been really uncomfortable. I've been putting in 12 plus hour days for literally since I was 17. Obviously I've only been doing insurance for about three and a half years now, but I just keep working and grinding and pushing forward. Every day I try to do better. I try to attain my goals. I don't even really have goals, truthfully. I just know I, I have far away goals. Like, I want to be able to wake up and not work for a month if I don't want to. I want to be able to take multiple trips around the world every year. I want to drive a Tesla. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. I mean, I'd also take, uh, you know, an Audi R8. I love cars. Cars are gonna be trouble for me financially in the future if I do become successful. I just have these long goals. I don't know. David Goggins is really running through my veins. You know, you're supposed to be uncomfortable. Everyone who's successful, who didn't inherit it, as Gary Vee says, everyone who's successful, everyone you know, or everyone you've heard of who's successful by themselves, meaning by something they did, didn't just get lucky. They put in hard work. Now, even the people that we think today who are successful and maybe just got lucky because they made one app or something, like Zucks, like Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, he made one app, but he still works. He continuously builds upon that. I mean, he has people that help him, but he's strategizing. He's thinking of ways to, now his work, I need to stop doing this so much, don't I? But now his work is thinking about like philanthropy and ways he can donate his money. I mean, he like actively searches out and seeks nonprofits and um, different scientific labs and studies. I don't know what they're called, but he still works. The dude's still uncomfortable. I mean, Elon Musk runs what, three companies or something like that? The dude works like 18 hour days for a while, he was sleeping in his office, so even though he was a multimillionaire. <sighs> you gotta be uncomfortable to be comfortable. And that's the ultimate paradox. So I've been continuously being uncomfortable in terms of my workload. And now I'm starting again to be uncomfortable in terms of my physical attributes. I'm working out again, I'm doing yoga again, I'm walking again. I need to start running. <sighs> Excuse me. See, I'm tired, I'm uncomfortable, but I'm still working, I'm still editing videos, I'm about to upload them for you guys. If nothing else, be uncomfortable, stay hard, thanks for watching.